17-9, the final CNU defeating Dickinson here in game two of the 2024 Mustang Classic. CNU head coach Mikey Thompson with us. Mikey, first of all, congratulations on the win. Just an overall thought on how your team played today. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, just, just really proud of our guys with how we battled back after a tough game last week. Um, you know, long trip up to Boston. Um, we got we got pushed around a little bit by a really good team, and so you do a little soul searching after after games like that. And uh, it's just a credit to our experience and leadership to be able to handle that in the right way and address things that were issues in that game, and and frankly have been throughout the beginning part of the season. And just keeping that optimistic mindset that the best is ahead for this group. And uh, this was definitely our most complete game that we've played all year. Um, Dickinson is an incredible opponent, um, and uh, they're well coached, and they have a lot of very talented players. So, um, to be able to be on the winning side um, versus a team like that is is obviously exciting. Let, let's break this game down into a couple different components. At the start of the game, it was fairly even. I think uh, Dickinson even had a two to one lead. McKee, their faceoff guy, was kind of dominant. Then you guys went on a run to take a six two lead, five straight goals. What was the difference there in that run for you guys to kind of spread it out a little bit? Um, I think it just all starts with playing unselfish, and I think we moved the ball better today than we have all season. And so when you're, when you're um, willing to work hard for those high percentage shots and ultimately some of those end up in the back of the net, that's how you start to string together a little bit of momentum and, and some of those runs. And, um, you know, Warner Cabinus, our faceoff guy, is, um, you know, over, over his career, he's always gotten better throughout the course of a game. So uh, there's never any panic button when, when he doesn't win the first couple. We know that he's going to keep battling, and, um, and he, he did a phenomenal job out there against one of the best kids in the country in McKee. And then Dickinson scores a couple of goals in the last 20 seconds of the first half to cut into that lead at 6-4. They seem to have a little momentum. They score a goal with less than one second to play in the second quarter. What was your message to your squad at the half? Well, that's actually one of the things that we identify every every game is we don't want to give up any goals in the first minute or the last minute of a quarter, Two, and that's and that's really hard. That's really hard to recover for you know from. So, um, just telling our guys that it was a very very strong half on both sides of the ball. That one minute got away from us a little bit, but that's that's why everybody loves lacrosse. You know, it wouldn't be as exciting if that type of stuff didn't happen. Let's talk about some of the individual players and the names. You know, Brendis and Cook. I mean, obviously you're going to talk about those guys every game, but Kevin Miller today gets his first start. He and his brother Drew Miller combined for six assists, if I'm not mistaken. Talk a little bit about Kevin Miller and what he brought today. Kevin's an excellent player. Um, he's been a little bit banged up throughout the start of his freshman uh, freshman spring. He was phenomenal in the fall, and we knew that we had a real weapon, you know, just waiting to waiting to unleash in a big moment. And um, he really rose to the occasion. He has great chemistry. He's got great vision. Just just such a good lacrosse player. Does everything really well. And um, you know, just just really proud of how he how he showed up in a big moment. And Ryan Young was dominant in the middle as as usual. And talk about your goalkeeper as well. Not a lot of saves I think maybe only nine but some huge saves right out in front yeah you know sometimes Han Hanway has these games that don't jump off the page but he quietly makes the saves that he needs to and um, you know that those were big moments when he made some of those point blank saves and um, you know he's a warrior coming back from a little bit of an injury last week and um, you know again just just proud of his his mindset coming into this game to want to get back out there in that moment and to uh, to be a leader of our defense and Ryan Young is the same way you know he's he's our leader on defense um, he's such a positive a positive um, influence for our defense and so I thought that that was our most cohesive game on that side of the ball that we've had all year. Besides for the great matchups that the Mustang Classic gives you it's also a chance for you to get an early season look at how your team can come back day to next day in a situation because that's what you may face in the tournament. So talk about the quick turnaround and what you want your team to try to accomplish in the next 24 hours. Yeah absolutely it's um we've already had one back to back um, this year and uh, and we'll do one more at the end of the season so um, it's it's what we do in May and so having that um, experience going back to back is really important and you know the message to my guys was that it's a real challenge you know the psychology of a college kid after a big win like that um, is 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 somewhat predictable unfortunately yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, so just making them understand that the reason why the result 
was the way it was is because we just execute it one minute at a time for 60 minutes and that has nothing to do with what's going to happen tomorrow so we have to reset and we have to gain a little bit of confidence and momentum from that but at the same time understand that St. Lawrence is an incredible team they're very talented very tough and they're going to make us earn everything and that's why we come to this event yeah and I was going to say you probably had a chance to scout them they had the early game today so what were your impressions of them overall they're just they're just a great team, um, top to bottom. I mean, it starts at, in the goal and yeah. uh, at the faceoff X. You know, if you were to build a team and those were the first places you started, um, you'd be you'd be in good shape. And um, they are they're tough. They're smart. I noticed them wear down um, York a little bit just in some really long possessions. I don't think they. Um, I think they're they're really smart about handling the ball and handling pressure. They've got some physical Dodgers, and um, they're a little bit unique on defense as well. I mean, if you look at their scores that they've been giving up this year, they haven't been giving up a lot of goals. So uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us for sure. But um, again, it's why we love coming to this event. Um, I also just love you know wa watching how all these other teams kind of interact, all the all the little details you know off the field as well and. Um, you just pick up these little things about all the great programs that are here, and uh, we're just grateful we do, to be a part of it. And it's also great for the fans. I mean, the moms and dads, the families and friends get a chance to come to Baltimore for the weekend, see 10 great games, five great teams, and, or, or I, should, I should say 10, 10 great teams, and just really embrace the sport, you know, at what usually is a nice time of the year. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's it's the best place for a lacrosse fan. I think if I lived in this area, it would be a staple on my calendar to come check it out. So um, there's some amazing teams and amazing players out here, and um, and just the, the environment is uh, is something special. All right, sounds good. Listen, rest up. We'll see you tomorrow Thank afternoon. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Okay, that's Mikey Thompson, head coach of CNU. Christopher Newport today, 17-9 over Dickinson. Back for more on GoMustangSports.tv.